Welcome back friends. For years we've used cardboard boxes for our chick brooders. We just put a big cardboard box in the house, put a heat lamp on it, and it's, it's served us fine for the last several years. But we're wanting to move the chicks out of the house and into the barn. And we have cats for rats and mice and such, and we don't want them to get the baby chicks. So today we're gonna to be building a brooder. And we're gonna build it out of just simple two by fours and plywood and some half inch hardware cloth. So let's get going. Here's our plan. We're gonna make this six feet wide and about 30 inches deep. And the height will be to, to be determined uh, once we get the floor in and, and everything, but more than likely this will be about four feet high. That way it's low enough to the ground to where some of our younger kids can get in and, and change the food and water and such, uh, but high enough where we're not bending down too far and then we're going to make the top more than likely in two sections with hinge hinge tops where you can raise one section up at a time uh, not that we need to have two different doors but where we can have the heat lamp over here and be able to get into the pen over here without moving the heat lamp every time that'll also make it a little easier to clean this thing out in the very end now the end one of these ends, I'm gonna cut in a small door at floor level. That'll make it where we can shovel out the, uh, the pine shavings and clean this thing out periodically. All right, first we're gonna build the floor. Basically, we cut two long six foot pieces of two by four, and then we cut all these pieces that we're gonna do 16 inches on center. Uh, they're 27 inches. So that'll make it a total of 30. Check my pressure, Christian. I think it went down a little bit. It only needs to be at 100. You gonna grab your hammer and hit this one on in? Make this a little easier so we're not bending down on the ground. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the front legs on. We cut these 39 and a half inches and we're gonna leave 12 inches above the floor for the front. That'll, that'll be a small front and it'll be about two feet off the ground. Go down here. Right there. Good. Good. Okay. Now let's do the end pieces. All right, so the overall length on these back legs is 58 and 3 quarter inches. We ended up doing uh, 12 inches on the front, which I was going to have two feet underneath. It ended up being like 24 and 3 quarters. 
but we left it. Three quarters of an inch ain't gonna be a big deal. Okay, come this way just a little bit. Push it. There you go. I need to come up. Right there. Well, I'll pound it down here. All right, let's sit it up. Sure that's long enough? No, it's not. Here. Let it go. Did we do seven feet? Oh. I need glasses. I, uh, apparently five foot is the new six foot. You can cut a foot more. It's not ideal though. No, Let's move it to this side. Yeah, because that'll make it look well actually, no, you probably do want it this side. And that way I can add a board in between for the four here. Mm. Always measure once, cut twice. All right. What in the world is going on? It works, how about that? Can you believe it? How does it look over here? Let's uh, make sure one side's straight, okay. Good, right there. I'm slide back, guys. That's going to be the clean out door for the shavings. Watch your fingers. You can't get out? Are you chickens? Oh, so they've been here. Here. Yes, yes I'm, Mommy said we could. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're going to sleep oh, in here. Oh, only if there's sheets in here. No, we yeah. put shavings. You want to be sleeping outside in the barn? Mm. I'll sleep in here. It's got a cover on it. Yeah, me too. That's the only time I'll sleep in here. Okay, yeah. you say so. 
All right, let me cut these. We don't have them yet. We haven't got the new ones yet. I need to turn this over. There we go. Hey, come hold this, Jonathan, for Christian, please. Hold that side up. Thank you. Drop it a little bit. Right there. All right, let's see if it works. I don't hate it. I think that'll work, don't you? Sweet. All right, let's make another one. Sweet. Can you hold this for me, Felicity, please? Should work. Cool. Let's get some hardware cloth on them. Nope. All right, Mama. Yeah, Let's see if it works. Said this is a hot and cold key. It's a fake. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So it will open all the way yeah. if we want to. But I think we'll cut a, a two by two to do this. 
Maybe from halfway or something. You good there? So I made this little door eight inches tall by 16 inches wide. And basically just the cutout of plywood, I made the door. I'm gonna put it on a hinge. And this will make it so we can get in here and sweep this out easily. Well, my phone died on me before I could get it all done, but this is the latch. So, that latch is in there, and that'll be, uh, that'll work perfect. This is all done and ready for chickens. Now I say all done. Hardware store only had one handle, which is all we need for right now, but we are gonna eventually add another handle over here. But this is gonna be the side that we use to put the chicks in and do the water and food and all that good stuff. The heat lamp's gonna be on this side, which I'm fixing to try to fabricate something for this real quick so it's ready to go, because we do have chicks on their way. Let her down. Let's see if that works. So what I'm thinking is, let me put a little screw in here just so it, it don't um, fall off. You know what I mean? Just to, to kind of hold it. But I think that'll work. Sometimes the uh, Simplest solutions are the best. Just cut a about 11 inch two by four and screwed from the bottom side, and that's got it perfect. Now we did add some screws here, just just to help hold this from from ever you know falling off or anything when we raise this up. But I think that'll work perfect. One more thing we just added. I forgot to film when I did it. I ripped down a two by four to to uh, two inches wide and I just screwed my miter edge is just to make it look nicer and then I put a screw in right here and a screw in right there and that's to hold this and this just will fold out and it'll hold that open so you can do what you need to do in there without that having to hold that or it falling down on your head Well, it's been a few days, but the chicks are on their way. Katie just went to the post office to pick them up, so we're gonna get the brooder ready. They're all alive. Good deal. Oh, 
Well, this is going to work out perfect. It's the perfect size. We've got 35 broiler babies in here. And uh, I mean, it's this is going to work out great. So they're all in here drinking, buddy. They are thirsty. They were actually an extra day in transit, and we were worried that a lot of them were going to be dead. And uh, thankfully, they're all fine for now. So we'll see. We're going to put water in here for the first hour or two only. And then after that, we'll put food in and uh, then they should be good to go so that's gonna do it for this time thank y'all so much for watching we'll see you next time